I'm Poet Rasantua. I'm a poet, singer, designer. My name is Pam. Well, Pamela, but I prefer to go by Pam. And I'm a communications and development strategist, yes. My name is Ria Boss. I am a singer, songwriter, performer, and cat mama. <laughs> this is Anne Olsen. My name is Q. I'm a sound engineer, sound designer, uh, music director, BGG. I'm the program's coordinator slash admin slash fundraising officer. I like to think of my role as like a glue, like behind everyone, making sure that everybody is comfortable doing the things they're supposed to be doing, things are running on schedule, making sure everybody's comfortable and happy and on brand, yeah. <laughs> I am like a creative team lead and session facilitator. Everything media, graphic design, photography, videos. And sometimes I touch the music more. I f facilitate the recording of the musical material, or I just make it possible that whatever it is that uh, the BGG girls want to write about or sing about, um, I handle the technical side of things to make sure everything musical or everything audio that we are doing comes out great. Yeah. I, I love designing things or planning things behind the scenes and seeing it all come together. The, the whole planning process is, and seeing it come to fruition is something that I really enjoy. I enjoy getting up close and personal with everyone, just being behind the scenes, getting to observe people do their work, meeting new people. It's always such like a thrill to get to meet new people and see how they work, how they are growing, how they are developing. I've made some of the best friends. Honestly, I really found out through working on BGG that one of the things I love the most is my ability to teach. Um, and so I think my favorite part is being able to sort of guide and also sort of be taught by all the residents that come through, so yeah. You have this short period of time to do something amazing and I like that challenge. I enjoy the fact that, um, I mean, it's a challenge that we have to come up with um, a certain number of songs within like a short period of time. So, like, I like the challenge. I enjoy the fact that within that short period of time, we are able to, like, come together and then bring out an awesome body of work, a music body of work, yeah. I am very excited about the possibility of the residency in creating content. Um, it's such a beautiful thing to see women come together and think together and to think together about things that are happening in our community. So I have, I have huge expectations to see what they will create that will contribute to the conversation on protest. I think by simply applying you have sort of asserted yourself, like your personal agency, and um, that alone I find revolutionary. So I have huge expectations. I think having that space, no judgment, just being women of your peers and being allowed to create, we will get some really amazing stuff, yeah. I think we've had a really wild year um, pandemic aside, and I think it's crazy for me to even say pandemic aside, um, but you know, I think in Ghana, um, we've been dealing with a lot when it comes to, let's say, the discrimination against the LGBTQIA plus community, um, as well as sort of like the overall overwhelm of the people when it comes to fix the country and trying to ask more of our you know, people in authority. And so I think that with all these things kind of brewing, it will be interesting to see what the girls will, what they will manifest when it comes to what they feel their sort of interests are when it comes to what they want to protest about. I'm really interested to see that. And I think that BGG on its own, we kind of are radical. Um, and so I think that 
it'll be really cool to see what these women do and, and, and the kind of advocacy that they'll want to do, especially with regards to what's happening. Not only, let's say, on a Ghana level, but even on a global scale with, you know, feminism and all of that, so, yeah. Thinking about the word protest, um, protest on its own for me is, um, has a link with togetherness. So it's like, to protest, you need a lot of people and you need people's voices, you need people's strength, you need um, people's brain to make something work. Like, you want to be one body, you want to be one voice. So protest for me is togetherness. This is just from my observation. I think um, in this country, uh, people are afraid to protest. It's something that I've, 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 I've uh, I've, I've been monitoring and I've seen happening. Even back in school, back in senior high school, we, we wanted to protest over something and only a few of us were able to come out and like attempt it. So, I mean, and it's, it, it's something that's happening like along, you can see that there's a lot of things going on, going on that's like um, making people angry or feeling a certain way. And, they want to protest, but they are afraid. Yeah, so I feel like uh, BGG, this year's BGG residency uh, can kind of educate or throw more light. I don't know, I don't know how the conversations will, will come in, but then at the end of the day, like I think it should help people feel like more like brave to come out to say they don't like this or they don't like that, like to be able to protest out whatever they want to protest, yeah.